For the first time ever, Japan has delivered fully functioning female robots to its customers, with the first batch of 3,000 being sold out within minutes of their introduction. These robots will be used as companions, but also as cleaning machines, although that function hasn't been activated yet. More models are expected to be introduced next year, and this is definitely an interesting development in the future of both female companion robots and cleaning machines alike. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. So without further delay, let's dive into today's topic. You may have heard of some amazing technological advances in robotics coming out of Japan, but the newest creations are even more advanced than most people could imagine, especially when it comes to the female robots themselves. Although they're physically very similar to their male counterparts, the females have been specifically designed with human interaction in mind, as well as a focus on caregiving and nurturing tasks, making them quite possibly one of the most human-like creations yet seen from this particular laboratory. A Brief History of Female Robots The Japanese robotics company has just taken the wraps off their latest creation, the Kuratas Female Humanoid Robot. The Kuratas, which was first announced in 2012, can be operated by a pilot who controls its movement and weapons remotely from inside the robot. Its weapons include twin Gatling guns, a shotgun, and a missile launcher, as well as an extendable sword for close-range combat that shoots infrared beams at its targets to detect them even when they are invisible or hidden from view behind walls. New Female Robots Japan's Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry, or METI, has announced a plan to have fully functioning female robots ready for market in time for Japan's 100th anniversary. The project is being headed by entrepreneur Hirohisa Ishino, who heads robotics firm AIST. The target is to have industrial robots as sophisticated as possible, said Kazuhiro Sakamoto from Japan's Information Technology Promotion Agency. Japan has taken robotics to a whole new level with its latest female creations. The four robots, named Geminoid F, Kaori, Miria, and Lily, have been delivered from Japan in preparation for an international exhibition taking place next year. Features of Female Robots New female robots were delivered to Japan. These have advanced human-like qualities, including speech recognition and natural language processing. Most importantly, they can respond to voice commands. Their vision is also quite sophisticated. They can recognize people from over 100 meters away and track them as they move around the room. They are programmed with social skills too, so if you talk to one in a friendly manner, it will be more responsive than if you were aggressive or rude. They are designed for use in shops and hotels, where they will act as receptionists and greet customers. The company that developed these bots hopes that within five years, similar models will be used in hospitals and care homes for elderly patients who need companionship but don't want or need full nursing care. Japan has long been at the forefront of robotics research and has already introduced several practical applications of robotics into their society. It is expected that in the coming years, we will see further advancements such as robotic helpers for disabled people, self-driving cars, and robot teachers in schools. Japan just made a huge leap forward towards all of these goals by delivering fully functioning female robots to their country. This could be seen as Japan reclaiming its position on top of world robotics development, at least until China releases theirs. We expect there will soon be many developments in artificial intelligence and robotics that are sure to change our lives forever. What do you think about Japan's delivery of female robots? Are they creepy? Will they help solve problems? Leave your comments below! Normal Robots vs. Female Robots We all know about popular household robots like Rosie from the Jetsons, Star Wars R2-D2 and C-3PO, and Theodore from AI Artificial Intelligence. But while they are all robots of a sort, they don't quite fit into today's definition of a robot. While you might remember them to be human-like in appearance, modern technology has allowed engineers to develop female robots that actually have human intelligence. No longer do we just see male robots. There is now an entire world of new female robots delivered by Japan. These new Japanese female robots will change everything we thought we knew about robotics and artificial intelligence. For example, these new female robots can deliver messages on a phone or tablet with their eyes and mouth movements alone. It sounds like science fiction, but it's not. Japan just delivered fully functioning female robots that can talk to humans on their own. This development could prove to be very useful for seniors who want companionship 
but aren't able to care for another living being. And what if you could use one of these robotic assistants as your next nanny? Imagine how much easier your life would become. The Future of Female Robots These robots can assist in everything from offering emotional support to entertaining residents by playing games and conversing with them. Japan, where they have a rapidly aging population and where there is an acute shortage of caregivers who can take on these responsibilities. I believe it will bring peace of mind to many people that their family members will be able to receive dedicated care even when they themselves cannot be there due to work or other commitments. Japan has one of the world's fastest aging populations. More than 25% of its citizens are over 65 years old. With over 1.2 workers per retiree, Japan has one of the lowest worker-to-retiree ratios in developed countries, meaning that as its population ages and shrinks, it will struggle to provide adequate elder care services without technological assistance. It seems likely that Japan will continue to rely heavily on technology, like Pepper, to help fill those gaps. This isn't SoftBank Robotics' first foray into robotics for elder care. Last year, they introduced Robear, an adorable bear-shaped robot designed to lift patients out of bed, and Robot, a robotic wheelchair designed specifically for use in hospitals and nursing homes. Will they replace real companions? There's always been something unsettling about sex robots. It's not just that they serve the purpose of replacing human intimacy with mechanical pre-programmed pleasures. And it's not just their uncanny resemblance to humans, especially women. There's also something familiar, almost disturbingly, about a relationship built on robotic companionship. Some people feel more comfortable in relationships where they can predict how things will go and who will do what and when. So if you want someone who is predictable and who will always be there for you, a robot might be your ideal mate. But if you like surprises and spontaneity in your relationships, then maybe having a robot as your companion isn't such a good idea after all. There will be no shortage of companionship in Japan soon because these beautiful machines look like they're here to stay. Japan is quickly becoming known as one of the world's leaders in technology. With companies like Sony creating innovative products on a daily basis, it's hard not to admire what Japan has accomplished so far. And now that they've created functional female robots, there seems to be no limit to what they can do next. What are your thoughts? Is being around robots becoming commonplace? Do you think these new female robots from Japan will replace real companions or have any other impact on society? Let us know in the comments below. These Japanese female robots are brand new and have been delivered to their respective owners over the past week. The bots vary in ability, but most are fully functioning and should work for around 10 years without needing repairs or upgrades. Most female robots are being built as we speak, but these particular ones have already been shipped out to customers who pre-ordered them through a variety of special offers. A lot of women will buy these robots for companionship. Men will purchase them for sex. I think it is up to society whether we look at these as prostitutes or wives, but there's no doubt people will spend a lot of money on them. And society itself might start to change based on these new relationships people are having with robots. These kinds of relationships are new, and we have a lot to learn from them as they develop over time. It's an exciting time to be alive. What do you think about these female robots? Are you ready for your own personal robot? What do you think they will cost? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.